When simplifying rational expressions, it's important to remember we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. For example here, we cannot simplify the three and the nine because we cannot simplify across this subtraction. When simplifying a rational expression, if we simplify the numerator and denominator completely, then perform the division indicated by the fraction bar. If it's helpful, we can think of having parentheses around the numerator and denominator. To begin simplifying the numerator, we need to simplify the square root of 243. To help us simplify the square root of 243, let's look at the prime factorization of 243. If we sum the digits, notice we have two plus four plus three, which is nine, because the sum of the digits is divisible by three, so is 243, which means 243 is equal to three times some number. If we cannot determine this number, we can always divide 243 by three. And let's go ahead and do that. If we have 243 divided by three, we first determine how many threes in 24, which is eight. Eight times three is 24. We subtract the difference as zero, bring down the next digit, determine how many threes in three, which is one. One times three is three, subtract the difference is zero. So because the quotient is 81, we know 243 is equal to three times 81. And because 81 is equal to nine times nine, and therefore it's a perfect square, we can actually stop here, and we don't have to determine the entire prime factorization. We now know the square root of 243 is equal to the square root of nine times nine times three. If we want the square root of nine squared times the square root of three, which is equal to nine square root of three. So the numerator simplifies to three minus nine square root of three. This is all divided by nine. And now from here, there's two ways to simplify this. Because we've simplified the numerator completely, and we're dividing by one term or a monomial, one method is to divide each term in the numerator by the denominator, which means this expression is equivalent to three-ninths minus nine square root of three divided by nine. And now simplifying, three-ninths simplifies to one-third minus nine divided by nine simplifies to one, and therefore we just have minus square root of three. So this would be one way to simplify the given expression. Let's take a look at a second method. Going back up to this expression here, we have the quantity three minus nine square root three divided by nine. If we look at the numerator, notice how the two terms do have a common factor of three. Let's factor a three from the numerator. If we factor three from the numerator, we have three times the quantity one minus three square root three, and all this is divided by nine. Of course, we can distribute here to see we still have three minus nine square root of three. And now because we have a product here, we can simplify the three and the nine here. There's one three and three, and three threes and nine, which gives us the quantity one minus three square root of three divided by three, which is also considered a simplified form of the given expression. And notice how the expressions do look different, but they are equivalent. To show they are equivalent, Let's take this expression and divide each term in the numerator by the denominator of three. If we do this, we'd have one divided by three minus three square root three divided by three. And notice in this form we can simplify. Three divided by three simplifies to one here, giving us one third minus square root three. So again, these two expressions are equivalent and both are considered simplified. It's important to be aware of this because when using the quadratic formula, we will see expressions in this form, and it's important that we know how to simplify them correctly. Either of these methods are valid.